All right, I've got another update in the Elon Musk Twitter saga. So Musk has filed a Form 13D with the SEC. This is a more detailed version of the 13G filing, and essentially it says that he is now an active investor as opposed to a passive investor. So he's no longer just some dude that owns Twitter stock. He's a guy that's going to play a role in running the company. Namely, he's been appointed to serve a two-year term on the board of directors. Now, the 13 uh, D filing specifies on what days he bought Twitter stock and how much he paid for it. And so in my previous video, I talked about how the mainstream media was estimating that Musk paid, uh, most of them were saying $3 billion, a few were saying $2.9 billion. I said that I believed it was more like $2.5 billion. Well, he actually paid $2.643 billion. So I beat the mainstream media. My estimate was closer. And he purchased these shares between January 31st and April 1st. And frankly, looking at it, I don't think his, the people that Musk hired to buy this stock for him, I don't think they even did a great job. I think they could have gotten it a lot cheaper. They could have easily gotten it closer to the 2.5 billion mark that I said. So in my previous video, I talked about the theory that Musk uh, cheated and didn't follow the proper SEC public disclosure laws. So anyone that buys 5% or more of a publicly traded company, they have to file a uh, 13G and disclose this within 10 days. Well, in Musk's filing, he indicates that he hit the 5% mark on March 14th, but the filing was made um, after the 10-day mark. Um, so we see in the new filing that he did indeed hit 5.22% on March 14th. Now, I'm sure that Musk has a team of lawyers and whatever the consequences are for filing a few days late are negligible. I know that Musk was fined by the SEC once before for $20,000. But, I mean, if they were to give him a, a, another $20,000 fine, that would be comically negligible because by filing the form uh, late, he potentially saved massive amounts of money because what we see here is that from January 31st to March 14th, uh, Musk bought 5.22%, and then from March 15th to April 1st, he bought another 3.91%, and the purchases uh, the, the amount of stock being purchased each day went way up. And that's why I say that it doesn't even look like uh, Musk's traders even did a very good job because from January 31st to March 14th, they're buying like a million shares per day in the mid to low uh, $30 range. And then after March 14th, they're buying two to three million shares per day in the high 30s and as high as $40 a share. And so the 3.22% the of Twitter stock that was purchased after March 14th, uh, Musk paid a lot more money. That was when the market went into a surprise rally and prices were recovering. Now, based on today's closing price, Musk's investment in Twitter is currently worth over $3.7 billion. So uh, he paid $2.643 billion. He's up over a billion dollars. Now, uh, he can't just sell it tomorrow and, and cash in. You can't sell it all at once. That would crash the stock. Now, another interesting thing, Musk changed his estimate of how much he owes. In the first filing, he said 9.2%. In the new updated filing, he said 
9.1 percent it's it's actually technically 9.13 so he was he lied it's only 9.1 he made it sound better than it really was now the financial youtuber tom nash had a interesting theory he said that by putting elon musk on the board the rest of the board members were leaning into the joke in other words musk was making fun of them and to remove the sting of being made fun of they're trying to make themselves part of the joke and just embrace it um, because after all at the core of this this is just a giant epic troll by elon musk now i think he he would like to reform twitter and make it better but that may never happen. All right, thanks for watching this video. Click the like button, post a comment below, tell me what you think about this, and please subscribe to my backup channels on BitChute and Odyssey. Links in the description below. And check out National Conservative, national-conservative.com. And click the subscribe button. New video every time Elon tweets.